Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about reverse number using Python programming language. So this is the code I already written. So add here, if you debug the code, if you enter any other number, any number like 4, 5, 6, then the output comes 6, 5, 4. If you enter 3, 4, 8, 7, the output comes 7843. So one more point I am going to discuss. So if you give print of a statement outside or inside of while loop and uh, if you revert the code and enter the number 34353 three, three. so first time that display 3 next 35 next 354. So you must uh, enter this value in outside of while loop. So this consider is uh, inside of while loop. So here if you put output printer function so that consider as uh, outside of while loop. So now let's execute enter any number 7891 dot put 1987. So this is the code I written in paint. So now I'm going to discuss the trial method of this program. So I know. So I enter whatever interval code that is printed in the output screen because at here I'm using input function. So see. So this is in double code. So that is printed to the output screen. Here int. So whatever the value come a string value comes, so that convert into integer and the value code to n. So I'm going to enter n value. 250 things. So here after rib equal to one more variable rib. So that initialized to 0. Here after while loop while n greater than 0. So n is not 256 greater than 0. Condition is true. So rib equal to n mod 10. So n mod 10 256 by 10. So it divide by 25 times the value come 250. So add here 6. So add here remainder uh, modulus operator return remainder and uh, so remainder is 6. So add here rem is now 6. Here after rib equal to rib into 10 plus rim. So rib value is 0, 0 into 10, the value comes 0, 0 plus rim value is 6. So 0 plus 6, rib is now 6. Here after n equal to n by 10. So 25, 256 by 10, so it divide by 25 times. So at here n is now 25. So at here I am using double backward slash. So this is considered as a division operator. So let's see one point I'm going to discuss. So right here, if I enter any number, one, two, three. So the value comes to three to one. So if I'm going to give single slash. So if I enter one, two, three. So right here, I'm getting garbage number, garbage character. If I enter one, two, three again, so this time, again, garbage number. So let's give at here double backward slash and consider as a division in Python programming language. Enter one time, one to three. So this time I'm getting the expected out. So if you are using Python programming language, so you have to give uh, backward slash two times uh, four. That is considered as a division character, division operator. So here after that go and loop continue. So while n greater than 0. So n is 25, 25 greater than 0. Condition is true. So I have rim equal to n mod 10. So n value is not 25. So it divide by 2 times. So the value come 20 and here 5. So remainder come 5 and cosine come 2. 
So Rim is now or Rim is now of five. And your Rim equal to Rim into ten. So six into ten, the value comes sixty. Sixty plus Rim value five. So the value comes sixty five. Here after n equal to n by ten. So we divide by two times. Quotient is two. So n is now two. Here after loop continues. So two greater than zero. Condition is true. So add here Rim equal to n more ten. So n value is now or two. So ten divide by two. So add here quotient comes zero. So remainder comes two. So add here Rim equal to n more or two more ten. The value comes two. So Rim is now two. Here after Rim equal to Rim into ten. So six fifty into ten. The value comes six fifty plus two. The value comes six fifty two. Here, here after n equal to n by ten, so two by ten, the value comes zero. So n is not zero. So here after that, cop check the condition zero greater than zero. Condition is not true. Control comes to this point. Here print function. So what do we do? Code that display into the output screen and the value of rev. So reverse of number six and rev value six fifty two. So that display. So next time you should try to enter any other number. So at your you should try to three fifty six and you will get the you will do the same trial method. So you will get the expected output. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.